Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I am stoked for Aurora Tuesdays today because we get to watch two videos in one video, which is very exciting. So we're gonna be listening to the song Paramore by Suburban featuring Aurora, of course. Um, we're gonna watch the official visualizer there's a weird plane going by. We're gonna watch the official visualizer and then we're gonna watch them on uh, Genius.com. I'm a big fan of Genius.com. Number one, they have tidbits of information. This is not sponsored. They just have tidbits of information on songs that I listen to and lyrics, of course, but also they sometimes have artists and bands on there to go through the songs themselves and tell us the true meaning behind them and I'm obsessed. So Genius.com, I'm happy to be sponsored in future videos, but um, for now, I'm just a big fan. Okay, so this video obviously won second place in the poll. We have two more songs to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the dates today. This will take us into Labor Day, oh no, which is a holiday, so I, I'm gonna have to film the, the September 2nd video quite early. So maybe I'll start a new poll next week. So if you guys have any recommendations, throw them in the comments and we will start a new Aurora Tuesday poll for September. All right, so let's get into this because this is gonna be quite a long video. Hopefully not, it shouldn't be too long, but you never know. So we're gonna start with the visualizer. I'm gonna listen to the song for the first time. Um, I feel, I don't know why I feel like I've heard it already but I know for a fact I have not seen the visualizer or the genius.com piece, so let's jump into it. All right, let's do it. Tell me, is your father a good man? It's surprising how little he seems to understand. His daughter was my savior. Sure, she can be a is how it goes Watching it unfold Playing my own role Dum dum di dum dum di di da di Don't make me leave this home This is what you chose That thing love an outro. Okay, I have never heard that song before in my life. I would have remembered how gangster the beat and the bass was. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of his voice. It's like, it's not even a singing voice. It's just talking. So I would love to hear something else. But this gave me like major Curly vibes. Do you guys remember the artist Curly? I was obsessed 
with her first album, that whole era, it was like gothic rock. Oh, it was so good. And her voice was spectacular. Aurora in this song gave me major curly vibes. And now I'm thinking maybe the reason I love Aurora so much is because she reminds me of Curly and I'm obsessed with Curly. Well, I was. I have I have no idea what she's up to these days, but that would make a lot of sense. She's like the modern day Curly. Wow. Just had a little mind blow right there. That makes so much sense now. Okay, well, if you haven't listened to Curly, please do. Um, my favorite song from her is Bulletproof. It's fabulous. Please check it out. If you like Aurora, you're going to love Curly. Okay, so that's interesting. Very interesting. A little too interesting. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why it's called Paramore. A paramour is a lover, especially the illicit partner of a married person. Okay, well, that's helpful. Now I'm like wondering why Paramore, the band is called Paramore. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why don't I think of these things? I need to find out now. Okay, so according to, sorry, I'm off topic. According to uh, Haley Williams, the name Paramore came from the maiden name of the mother of one of their first bass players. Once the group learned the meaning of the homophone Paramore secret lover, they decided to adopt the name using the Paramore spelling. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I never Googled that, but as you can tell, I don't really care about why bands are called things. I just like the music. So that is interesting. Okay, now I'm going to watch uh, the official lyrics and meaning because I feel like they're just going to describe it way better than I could. And this came out on Genius.com uh, two years ago. It has over a million views, which is not surprising because Aurora is the best. Not sure how popular Suburban is, but the beat is cool. Just not too keen on his voice, but that could just be this song. But I like the song. The song is really good. The melody is beautiful. The When that bass kicks in, it really just took me over. Like it just, I was so intrigued by it. So Aura's part was obviously wonderful. She sounded great as always. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it could have been a little better if he was just singing, not so much speaking, but just my personal opinion. But it's a jam. I'd probably listen to it like a lot. Okay, let's watch the suburban Paramore featuring Aurora official lyrics meaning. First off, I'm like super honored that this is pretty much the first collaboration that you've ever done. I rarely oh. do um, like work with other artists, <laughs> but I was really uh, drawn to you because you're, uh, oh. you know, he's good. And I'm also, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so he's good. You have very angelic vocals. Well, you have a really nice voice as well. It's very unique. And weird, which is cool. <laughs> it's um, very breathy. Yeah, I have a yeah very breathy. Very voice. Breathy. Yeah, it's very nice. And mine is very sharp. So I think they're very nice together. Yeah. Like a cloud holding a knife. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aurora. <laughs> you know, there's a, a, a generational difference between um, a lot of parents that affects their child's love mm -hmm. life in a lot of instances especially when that's fueled by belief or religion mm -hmm. or just plain you know boomerism mm -hmm. so the song is really describing the um dynamic of the father your partner getting flack and mm -hmm. that returning to you in uh, some situations mm -hmm. uh, uh extreme situations getting kicked out of their own house because mm -hmm. of sexual relations or premarital sexual relations. Originally, I wrote it like very improvisationally right on the spot with uh, another producer. I sent it over and uh, with a com like a blank that I produced out specifically for what I thought um, I wanted to hear female vocals and uh, Aurora perfectly matched that aesthetic. I really like the song. I'm very dedicated to battling shame because I'm so upset with all the different ways we are shaming, especially about the beautiful things that makes us human, like love and sex. And yeah. it's so it could be so pure and lovely. And all of these weird shamings just ruins such a perfectly beautiful, naturally wild thing. I love the message of the whole song. Uh, sex is cool. <laughs> sex is cool. 
tell me, is your father a good man? It's surprising how little he seems to understand. I always like when the, the yeah, first I don't know. line when, has When a... he says understand, it's like he goes flat, but I think it was on purpose. So it just sounds like he's out of tune, but in reality, that's probably just the way he wanted it to sound, which is so strange, but it's an interesting vocal. I'll give him that. A little bit of like captivation or shock value and in a lot of relationships you want to know the reality sounds, of who you're dating and he has the most vocal fry in a man i have ever heard in my life like he talks like this a lot and his voice is very vocally frying constantly interesting i feel like a lot of people have a lot of vocal fry these days but that's excessive often a reflection of that can be their parents a lot of the times is actively involved in a lot of their decision making if they still have a stronghold grasp on their child. With parenting, you know, it's a fine line you have to walk. In most of my relationships, I've met parents who just, struggle recognizing how he is. <laughs> their child as an individual, especially coming into adulthood. Is your parenting part of the equation? Is your father a good man? His daughter was my savior. Now, there's a, a biblical parallel with me saying your daughter was my savior obviously a double meaning um, mm -hmm. for uh, seeing as there was a conflict of interest but i thought it was similar because in a lot of ways she she was my savior in that moment i was very very um socially inept still am <laughs> this this was a, a first experience for me like uh, getting out of my shell during my youth Sure, she can be a little indecisive, but I don't have to make her choose because she has had moments. Um, he sings with his teeth clenched uh, to, to sound higher. This is really odd and interesting, and I also didn't really think that was just him singing that part. So interesting that he has a higher vocal range. But it sounds so strange. Where she is directly influenced by her parents. You know, she's indecisive, but I don't have to make her choose because I have Aurora faith. Aurora was in right. Situation. His voice is weird. She needs to um, find herself as an individual and stop being ruled by a few things that did have a lot of influence on her growing up and in turn had a lot of influence on our relationship. Oh, this is how it goes. Watching it unfold, playing my own role. This is how it goes, really, was a moment of knowing a fallout will occur, knowing that I will get into a conflict with the parents and just waiting for the inevitable. And that's what occurred over dinner. It was a very awkward dinner. Um, they had caught us. I had been caught in the act. Got to the point where they were asking her to break up with me wow. or move out. And they, they kicked so her out. That's so messed up. Uh, this is how it goes, watching it unfold, playing my own role. Dum dum diddy dum dum diddy daddy dum. Uh, that was <laughs> almost like a nursery rhyme. And <clears throat> just phonetically, it sounded fun, the alliteration. And I was playing a little dialogue in my head. Daddy, don't make me leave this home. Don't kick me out. I can be better. Make me leave this home. This is what you chose. I can't let him go. Dum dum diddy dum dum diddy daddy dum. The father coming down on her. This is what you chose. You have to live with the consequences. Then her coming back. I can't let him go. Driven by love, not logic, pure emotion and instinct in this situation. Hmm. In our house, the quiet is so loud. I think I was imagining the this whole thing from the girl's perspective being r reprimanded by a parent or um, being like disapproved of or disowned. It's such an extremely painful thing to go through. And that silence around the dinner table that I'm imagining this uncomfortable silence where you're not uh, allowed to express yourself or 
or to speak your mind or speak your truth or be who you are and be, be human, be normal even. I'll never hear a single word you want to shout. Uh. I was thinking both from the the father's perspective that you, you'll never get to hear. Like like his anger is kind of endless because he, he will never understand. But also that he'll never hear every single word she wants to shout because she will never be given the space mm. to be understood or to speak her mind. Oh God, you're just a child. I kind of wanted to scare the listener a bit <laughs> in the song. I'm imagining that's how it feels for her to constantly be called a child when she is not anymore. It's this very undignifying way of kind of taking control over a child as a parent simply because you can. Oh, he can be a little too invasive. When I heard Suburban's pre for the first time, oh, she can be a little in indecisive. I just loved the way that word kind of tickled my mind and I loved the way it tasted in my mouth. <laughs> and I really wanted to recreate that phonetically pleasingness. It was just fun to flip the perspective around Oh, he can be a little too invasive. And that's probably why she's a little indecisive. And I just want to live. For me, when I added the little, I just want to live, it's kind of to explain how little we are asking for. It's such a small question. It's such a small demand to ask for respect and ask for freedom to do what you want with your lovely mm -hmm. body and soul. This song talks about such um, an important topic. And it's weird to me that, that it's even a topic we need to write about, but we do. Interesting. Um, so I tried to like make a yin to his yang <laughs> by saying he can be a little too invasive. Because I love when words both like connect yeah, phonetically as well. It's very yes. intriguing for the mind. That is so cute. I really, I love Genius.com for these videos because otherwise, when do you ever get to see the artist walk through their lyrics and literally explain to you step by step what the song is about? It's a great song. I just think his vocals are a little odd, but you know what? As a song, it's wonderful. Could I listen to every song he ever does like that? Not sure. It really depends. I think what saved this song, other than Aurora, was the beat and the bass for me. It's such a great sounding song. The lyrics are fine. Like I, I now I obviously understand the meaning behind them. But, you know, it doesn't do much for me. But I think the song melodically and just like bass and just the bop of it it's a good song it's just his voice is a little strange to me it's not really a singing voice it's just a whispery talk i would be impressed if i knew he produced it and came up with the beats and everything that would make sense but if he's just singing on this song the way he's singing i highly doubt that's the case but you guys tell me if you know the answer all right, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this song. It's interesting, this was her first collaboration, so she must have really loved the meaning behind the song. Uh, she, you know, obviously said his voice is a little weird and hers is a little shrieky, so the contrast fit perfectly. So I think the meaning behind the song really moved her to want to be a part of it. I wonder what it takes for Aurora to be a part of a collab nowadays. Like, I know she did the collab with Bring Me the Horizon. She did the song Limousine, which was phenomenal. Her part was way too short. But that's okay. It was still good. But I'm so curious, like, what does it take for you to want to be a part of a project for someone else's song? You know what I mean? Questions I have for her. The questions I have. All right, let's talk about my vinyl of the day. It is Sleep Token. Look, what happened to the heart is over there. It's Sleep Token's Take Me Back to Eden. It's my favorite sleep token album i love it so much every song is heavenly Ascen ascensionism ascensionism is everything me and my daughter always sing take me back to eden together because her name is eden and anything with her name in it she loves um but the first song i heard i'm pretty sure was chokehold or granite i can't remember 
But anyways, I have all of their albums on vinyl, and I'm very proud to say they're all limited edition. If you want to see me open this, you can check out all my vinyl openings on my vinyl openings playlist. And they're all short, so they're only 60 seconds. So go enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you next Tuesday.